Hi everybody! Today is Tuesday, March 2nd. You're uh, visiting with El uh, Create with Ella. I'm Ella. <laughs> and it is 1.03 p.m. Pacific Time. Hi Miko! Glad those that are here can join us. Um, I was just talking to Zandra via text and she won't be able to join us today because she hasn't had any internet all morning. So it's kind of rough back there in the Northeast, the East Coast period, but um, up near where Zandra is, it's really bad. It's really bad. She's in New Jersey, and I think from New York on, they're just getting slammed with bad weather. <clears throat> so uh, we'll wait another minute or so and see how many people uh, come in. Hope everybody had a good weekend. It was... Um, nice and quiet for us. I'll show you a picture of what we did this weekend. Um, let's see. Oh, let me find it. My friend Cindy Jenkins, known as uh, the Messy Blogger, <clears throat> It was her 40th birthday, so she had a 40th birthday party. So here we are, the camera, the lighting makes the picture look, Let's see if I can get it to focus. No, it's not gonna focus, come on. Let me see if I can get it to focus. She had a um, birthday party, it was a lot of fun, and <clears throat> excuse me, she had a, um, let me put it on autofocus, see if that works. That make it, there you go. Come on. Oopsie, come on now. You can do this. <laughs> oh, it doesn't want to work. Anywho, we had a great time. She had a photo booth. And, uh, boy, that's really blurry, isn't it? Hi, Ronnie. How are you? I'm trying to show a picture of birthday party I went to over the weekend. My good friend, the messy blogger, turned 40, but my camera's not cooperating to focus it. So, anywho, it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. Um, and so then she's having a crop at my house later this month, a scrapbooking party. So, uh, that'll be good. Yeah, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so today we're going to finish our um, birthday uh, six by six uh, mini album. I want to show you what it looks like when it's completely folded out. Um, it's too big to um, fit on this on my desk so that you can guys can see it all at one time. But I have a picture here. So I'll show you that. So here's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on this. There you go. I think I had a picture of this on my blog. Boy, the camera's not liking me too good today, huh? No, it's not liking me. <laughs> A little stinker. Okay. Hold on just a second, guys. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Back. Okay, this is the sample one that I made using the um, heartstrings paper. And, uh, last, uh, and I explained to you that this one was made for, let me zoom in a little closer. This paper was designed 
more for Valentine Day, Valentine's Day, but I didn't want Valentine's, uh, I didn't want a Valentine's theme, so I made it as like, you had me at hello. So it's pictures of my husband and I through the years, and so it, op it folds up to a six by six. So just beware that when you mail anything square, six by six, five by five, the post office is going to charge you more. There are ways to get around that, but you end up paying more than a regular stamp anyway. So I say just go ahead and bite the bullet, you know, unless it costs you arm and leg. Oh, Zandra got in! Yay! Okay, she says it'll cut in and out, so she'll be here as long as she can. So anyway, this is the one I made. Um, I won't be able to stand it up and show it to you because, like I said, it's too long to uh, go on my desk. But I do, I'll do. i show you um, what I can of it. So when it opens up, it folds out like this. See? See how long it is? And so the it stands up. Let me see. See, it's not going to, it's not as pretty when it's laying down. But anyway, it stands up and um, it turn it, it just is, it's just very, very pretty. I, I don't know how to explain, how else to explain it to you. I wish I could get this picture to, let me try one more time to get this to, uh, maybe if I take it off of autofocus. Let me see. Yeah. Well, that's how long it is. It's on the mantle of my fireplace there. So you can see there how long it is. Um, it's just really, really pretty. Yeah, it's a flag book, right. I got it off of Split Coast Stampers. Um, I'll put the link up in just a moment. It was very easy to make. Um, the only thing is I did have to tweak it a little bit on the inside flaps right here. But um, it turned out, you know, really nice. I didn't have to tweak it that much. Here's the link for those that are watching the recording. If you go to Split Coast Stampers Tutorials and type in mini album, there are like three of them that come up. And this is the one that I uh, used. And then I'll type the link. I'll get the link. And um, let me see. Hold on a minute. And I'll put the link in the uh, chat for you. So I hope everybody is warm and um, uh, I'm fat fingering things today. Here you go. Okay, so here's the link. There's the link for those that are here now, and then, like I said earlier, here's the link for those that are um, watching the recording. Like I said, it's real easy. It came together pretty simple. Um, the only I had to, I just had to um, uh, trim this smaller, a smidget smaller than four by six, and then the height of this. But I suggest that you make a um, a um, uh, what you call it. I suggest you use your not so good paper and make one if you've never made one before so that you can, you know, get used to the adjustments and everything together. Okay, so let's get back to the one we're doing with the confetti wishes. And where we left off last week is, um, oh, thanks, Sandra put the link in so it, the chat would stay down. We uh, got the front and the back cover on, and we got the inside made. And now this week we're going to add our pictures and our decorations. So I'm going to save the, um, I need to trim that up a little bit. I'm going to save the decoration of the cover until later. So um, before I get started on that, I do have one thing to show you. Next week, we're going to start working with the brushed assortment paper line. And this is the collection here. We're going to make a two-page layout. And this is one of my all-time favorite close to my heart um, collections. It's just beautiful. And it's the brushed. And it's double-sided, so you get two sheets of um, each one of the card stocks. 
So here's the first two sheets. Me too, Ronnie. I love it too. There's the first two sheets. And then here's the second two sheets. And here's the third set of two sheets. Um, the light in my room is really nice and bright today. We got plenty of beautiful sunshine. So it looks kind of washed out on camera, but it's not. It's just a beautiful collection. And this can be found on my website. And my website is ellaconnor.ctmh.com. And I'll put that link in here for you. There you go. So you can um, purchase that there. And so with the six sheets of um, design paper, you also get some solid cardstock. Get two sheets of this real pretty pink. It's, it's not a bright, ucky pink. It's just really, it's pretty. I'm, I'm, I can't say enough about it. Then you get two sheets of white. A sheet of yellow and a sheet of I think they call this juniper I'm not sure so we're using this collection that's the paper to make our two page layout we're going to use the brushed assortment eight pieces and they are metal they're not they're not paper they're metal they're not they're metal they're very and they have a sticky on the back. They're light, lightweight metal, very lightweight. And um, they have sticky on the back, and they're pretty sticky. But I will probably go ahead and put some um, glossy accents under them. Or foam tape, whichever however we decide to uh, use them. So that's the brushed assortment. And we're going to use the compliments. Which are another fancy word for stickers. So sassy to um, imagine imagines a banner. Um, the best thing to hold on into e e hold on to in life is each other. And everything you imagine, everything you can imagine is real. So this, we're going to use these. And we'll probably use some pink twine. We'll probably use some pink twine and some flamingo dots. So this is the pink twine, it's real pretty, you've seen me use it before, and the flamingo dots. I have several packs and I just put them all in one envelope. You get 108 pieces, and I, I believe they're $5.95. So that's what we're going to start with next week. And then at the week after the, that, next week is the two page layout, and the week after that we're going to do some real pretty cards. Um, with this collection until we use it all. We're going to do cards and other things until we use it all up. Because I like getting the most I can out of the collections. Um, whether it's a mixed media piece, or cards, layouts, um, a 3D home decor. I, want, I like using the whole collection until it's gone. I, don't, I really don't like having scraps left over because then they start getting in my way. <laughs> and I have too many scraps. In fact, Tomorrow I, I'm starting to declutter. I have the I have it started. It's over here in the corner, and tomorrow it's gonna I'm gonna go through it. So wish me luck. Okay, so let's get started. So I have my pictures, and um, I chose four pictures of various birthdays throughout the year that were either mine, Greg's, and or we were celebrating together. Our birthdays are only 15 days apart, 
So a lot of times we just celebrate. We do things on the day of the birthday, but then we like go to dinner or something like that in between and celebrate to each other. Now, I don't remember when this picture was taken, but I'm, I'm thinking that it was um, over five years ago. <laughs> Let me see if the autofocus is going to work with me here today. There, much better. We were at we were at lunch with our friends, and um, we took this. I had them take this picture of us. So that you can see, this is a portrait star star. Ugh, can't talk today. This is a portrait uh, style instead of landscape. But I want to use it because, number one, I like it. And number two, I wanted to show you that you don't always need to have a 4 by 6 on there. You know, just because it calls for 4 by 6 you can work around it. Because we can put some things here. So let's fix this, this page right here. So let's trim this up to, let's see. Let's take and do three and a four, three and three fourths. Let's start with that. Three and three fourths. Where will that be? Well, first of all, let's get his wallet out of there. We don't, nobody needs to see that. Who cares about that? <laughs> get our trash can. And now let's go to three and a fourth. Three and three fourths, sorry, and see how that works. Okay, so that works well. And I could, I could cut that part off and just make that, because who wants to see that, right? So let's cut that off too. So now we're down to three. Three by four and three fourths is my picture. Yeah. Okay. So I can work with that. Okay. So let me get my embellishments out. We got our stickers. We got our um, branding strip, zip strip, I call it all kind of things. We got our purple gems, and we got some um, clear bling. Okay, so let's see what we have in here that will, um, that will work. I'm going to save the balloons because I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get those on the front because I really, I really like those a lot. Okay. So we have some presents. But I want to, let's see. You know what? I'm going to come back to this page because I want to I have want to go on to the next page. So when you get on to the next page, you can put something here. Like, see, I could take this picture and put here like this. I could do that. And then I can put another picture here. But so let's move on. I want to let's do this page for now. So here's another picture of my sweetheart and I for another birthday. And we were at P.F. Chang's, as you can see right there. And I'm going to leave that in. I had already cropped this picture. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this picture down. Get my tape runner. And I need to trim this just a smidget. So I'm going to take like, um, I'm going to take like an uh, eighth of an inch off. Let's see how that does. Now, if you want to put a border around here, you can. Um, my pictures are 
crop so that I can do that. So I think I will leave a little bit of a border. So I'm going to take another eighth of an inch off the side. And, but I'm not going to take it off the bottom or the top because then I'll chop Greg's head off. And I really want this PF Chang's to show, but I'm going to have a little bit showing on the side. Okay. We did manage to get some rain here, uh, much to, I mean rain rain, not this little bit of drizzly stuff that we normally get. I mean, we, we need it so badly, however, when we get it, we have the terrible, they have terrible mudslides in parts of the state. Not where I live, though. So, okay, so we have that down. So now we want to put something down in here. So let's see. Get my scissors. Hi, Fran. Welcome. Happy Monday to you, too. We're just getting started. Thanks for popping in. So let's. We have candles, but they're big fat candles. They wouldn't fit here, but they might fit there. So let's see if we can. Oh, this might be cute, guys. Let's see how this will work. would be cute. We could put this here. I'm not going to press. I'm just going to gently lay it down. And I'm going to stick this underneath, just a, a little bit underneath the platter there. Yeah, I like it. So now I'm going to go ahead and press down because I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we have a bunch of candles. So I'm thinking we can cut some of these down, you know, a little bit and still use them on our page. So let's use this one. This will show up. Um, I like this one too. Let's use the purple. Let's see. Let me get them all cut out. And then we'll audition them and see which one we like. Like the blue up against there. The, the purple puts too much purple in. I like the I like the green. Let's see. I think I like these two. Yeah. Or do I want to do the green because I'm putting the green down here? Oh, let's go with these two. Oh, they're all so stinking cute I can't decide. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, I'm going to cut them off like right here. And I didn't press real hard. 
here so I can lift this up a little bit and get my candles in there. So there's one. Maybe I'll put three. How's that? So I'll take this one and measure. They don't have to all be the same length, you know. And then we'll do this one. And now let's see about this one. Is everybody doing okay? The chat didn't freeze, did it? You guys still with me? Oh, good. Hi, Miko. Thank you. Okay, so now we'll take our little flicker. You know, we all have tools that we just couldn't work without, right? And mine is tweezers. I have to have... Thanks, Ronnie. Um, I have to have tweezers. Fingernails are good, but sometimes they get in your way, and tweezers just are my go-to. I have to have them when I'm crafting. So now I'm gonna take my <laughs> I'm gonna take my clear wink of Stella, and I'm going to go over the candles, the flame in the candle. And I'm going to go over this, this strip here. And you just barely have to touch and brush on. Um, and then, you know, I love bling. What can I say? I love bling. So I'm going to just trace this. Like so. And then I'm going to trace this loopy loop. Like that. And then down here. Or do I want to put that there? Maybe I'll put this here. Enjoy your day. And I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and clear and color in here. Oh, good, Sandra. <laughs> and then we have. Um, a little cupcake and we're going to put that here and we're going to take the Wink of Stella and we're going to cover color all of this in just to give the um, give it some shimmer there oh I love it we'll take our little purple gems now I'm not going to put any gems here as much as I want to put them there because then when the book is closed it will imp it will make an impression into the picture so as much as it pains me not to put any there I'm not but I am thinking about, I want to see how one's going to show up right here. Oh, that'll be cute. And then over here with the Wink of Stella, I'm going to color in this one. And then I think I'm going to color in this whole cake here. 
this is a good way to add shimmer to your um, page without any bulk. You know, and it dries very fast. And I got my Wink of Stella pins from Scrap a Dab a Doo. And um, I love them. What can you say? Okay. So maybe in here let me see here's some this is supposed to be confetti. No, I don't like that. I can tell already. And I think this is supposed to be a little gift. I don't like the green. Let me see. Oh yeah, the Wink of Stella. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love the ease that it is with um, to use it. Now I'm going to put the green here because I want to tie the green in from here over to this side of the page. And then um, there's enough purple, so I'm going to choose a light color to go here. That's why I chose a light color to go there. Okay, and then I'm going to take a clear gem and I'm going to put in there. And then I'm going to, to um, color these in. The thing you have to remember with the Wink of Stella is do not press. Once you activate, when you first get the Wink of Stella, there's no ink in this, uh, not ink, but there's no, oh, it's not ink. I don't know, really know what to color, but there's no uh, glitter or juice, ink, whatever you want to call it. There isn't any in here. So it tells you to, you'll see it says push. You can't see it on camera too well, but it says push on both sides. And you push, and when you start seeing it flow down there, you stop. And then don't push again until you're out. Because if you constantly push, it'll just keep flowing. Okay. All right. So there's that page. And then here... I can do some journaling, but I'm not going to journal today. And I do want to put something here, um, but I think I'll come back to these strips later. All right, so the next picture that I want to put down is this picture. And this is the day before my birthday at the citrus, at the, um, in the Santa Paula Citrus Festival where they send up the hot balloons. So we had a really great time there. That was a lot of fun. I'd never seen hot balloons ascend before and they didn't get to go up that day because it was really windy, but they did get to um, fire them off at night and it was just it was just gorgeous. It was really a lot of fun.
Okay, so that's a good size for there. So we're going to put this here like this. That is a hot air balloon. We went to the Citrus Festival in Santa Paula, California, and that's a hot air balloon. They did not get to uh, ascend that day because it was too windy. Too windy. We were going to go up as I've never been in a hot air balloon before. Um, my husband um, lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where they do the mass ascension every year, and that's on our bucket list. So, but they did get to fire them off and light them up, and it was absolutely beautiful. It was so pretty. So we're going to put this picture here. I can't get it on straight. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would love to be able to go. It won't be this year, though, because we're going to take a cruise to Alaska, so we won't be doing the hot air balloon this year. <laughs> so let's do another, um, let's see, we have a present. This little present, which is really cute. Now I'm keeping the most of the dimension items, I'm keeping them flat because I don't want the book to be too, I don't want the album to be too bulky. Let's just lay that there and see how we like that. And then I'm thinking maybe we could take um, I'm just trying to yeah oh we were married in Albuquerque okay Ronnie I'll see you later take care we were married in Albuquerque in 1986 because his parents were living there we got married in their home and so I've been to Albuquerque many times. I've just never been to the Ascension. Um, And in there, I'm going to put um, a gem. I like adding gems to my um, work. I usually have them on every page somewhere, somehow. Yes, they do have the best. They do have the best Mexican food. We had our honeymoon in Santa Fe, and that was just awesome and we went the year we were married he took me up to the crest and I was scared going up but once I made it up in the tram I was okay so now I'm just adding the Wink Stella to my embellishments and 
and I'm going to put some down here. Let me bring you guys in. Let me zoom in some. I'm going to close my blind, guys, just a second because it's giving off that really. I think that's the glare. Let me see if that's the glare from the blind. Yeah. Oh, no. The glare from the light. Ah, I don't know how to. Oh, there, that's better. That's better. I can't reach the light or I would change it. I don't want to stop the show to reach the light. <laughs> so let me get you back centered here. Oops. There. So I'm just going in here and coloring down in this area with the Wink of Stella. This project goes together really fast. I would say so from start to finish, you could probably do it in two hours or less. Okay, so right here, we are going to um, see if we can find us another cake. You know what we could put here are some of these little banners to tie the banners into there. So let's do that. I'm going to get my hole punch. And let's get some, I'm going to get some twine. Have some purple. Uh, I'm looking to see what other colors I have that would go with this. use that too. I don't think this goes with it that well. No. Okay. Maybe I'll use this too to get a little gentlemanly flair. Instead of, I think that's too much purple. Okay. So we're going to use, um, the gray one. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we'll use these three right here. How's that? And we can put this one in the middle. Hmm. I'm 
getting this idea in my head. Let me see something, guys. You know what I think we're going to put here is make. And then over here we're going to say uh, A and wish because we have these letters here. So let's see how that works. I'm sorry if I'm jumping all over the place. I just had this brainstorm. So I want to see how this is going to work. There you go. Okay. Now I want to um, go around these letters um, to make them to give them some definition and bring them up off of the page. So I'm going to do that with a micro pen. Now I'm going to do that in black. And I'm going to use the 01. 01. You can see it there, except the camera's not cooperating. Sorry. The Micron 01 pin in black. That's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to take this out and lay it flat like this so I can trace around it without the added bulk. Make sure that's laying down really good. And the way I do it is I hold my pen straight up and down. This is what works best for me. And just take your time. Don't try to rush around there. This helps the letters to not fade into the background, so to speak, or go and not fade, but blend into the background as much. It helps them to stand out some. Like I say, it gives them some definition and it brings them, tends to bring them up off of the page a little bit. Uh, got a little slip of the hand there. Came up on my letter, but that's okay. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to take some of the gemstones that I hid from myself. <laughs> well, here they are. <laughs> take some of the purple gems, and I just want to scatter them around. And I think I'm going to use the, they come in three different shades. And they come in different sizes. I think I'm going to use the lightest shade. Because everything is so dark. 
and they do have sticky on the back and my experience with these is these this brand is that they they stick pretty good once you um, put them down but if if you don't uh, if, if it makes you feel more comfortable by all means put some glossy accents on the back I have done that with some of these when I didn't especially when I'm sticking them to like shiny or slick or glitter paper I put the glossy accents on the back but when I'm putting them on paper, it's been my experience that they, once I put them down and press really good, they're they're pretty much on there. They're not going anywhere. And then I'm going to take a medium sized one. That was a large and three small. I'm going to take a medium size and I'm going to put here. And Take another medium size and put here. And I'm thinking that I ought to take, let me see if I can get, yeah, I must have not have pressed yet because usually it'll rip the paper if you've already pressed and you try to get it up. There. This looks too symmetrical to me, so I'm going to Ah, I don't want to ruin my nails. I just had them done. I think I'm going to have them go off the letter a little bit. I like that look a little better. I'm sorry I'm not paying attention to the chat right now, guys. <laughs> Well, I'll leave that one there. It doesn't seem to want to come up. Okay, so I think that looks good. We're going to leave that there like that. We're going to go around this. Put the black micron pen, the Secura by Secura. So I did watch a good movie uh, last week. I watched um, Gone Girl with Ben Affleck. Oh my gosh. Whew, she was a witch, man. Has anybody else seen that movie?
see it just really brings the embellishment up gives it that look of that's not you know into the background of the page as much Okay, I will have the pin out. Uh, where was that other one? Let's do the cake also. I want to lay it flat. Let me see if I can get it to, no, it's about as flat as I can get it. Okay, I just have to be very, very careful. <laughs> There's a little popped up a little bit right here. So how's everybody doing on their uh, unfinished projects? I know you have some laying around. I know I do. Oh, you're halfway through Gone Girl? Oh, Fran, let me tell you. Whew, she is a... Mm. She is something else, man. I really liked it a lot. I thought it was really good. I haven't read the book. I saw the movie. I rented it um, through Redbox. I thought it was really good. Does anybody watch Downton Abbey? I watched the last episode this morning. We won't get it now until next year. Not happy about that. Okay, so now on this page, we're going to go around these also with the uh, micron pen. After the show today, I think I'm going to watch House of Cards. Can't wait to see what that fill ends up to. Now, I did put this gem here, and I know what I said over here, you know, I wasn't going to put any gems because it would fall on the page, but I did put this one here, so I kind of broke that rule a little bit. Um, you just have, this isn't going to fall on a picture, see, because it's going to fall here. If I put a picture, it'll be here, and then I'll do my journaling here. But I won't be putting pictures here today because I don't have, an, I didn't have an, enough printed. But that's where I would put another picture here and then journal here. And so the, the rhinestone would only fall on this part, whereas if I put the rhinestone here, it's going to fall right on the picture. So that's my reasoning behind that. Oopsie daisy, I kind of got out of line there. Oh well. So sorry. Okay, so now we need something here, and um, I have some stamps that I set aside. Let me see if I have some, uh, hmm. Oh, let me think about that.
So I want to put uh, right here, we're going to put A. And I'll show you in a minute how it's going to, when you open it up, what it'll look like as much as I can. And then I'm going to put some baby, some uh, beet, some gemstones there. So now we have our triangle. Press down on those so they don't come up. And just to draw some attention here, we'll put some shimmer in here. Okay. And then here. Uh, oh, yeah. Just set that there like that. Let me see what other little package I have here. I don't Let's see if I can get that. Yay, I did it. That there. Are you guys still with me? I haven't bored you and put you to sleep yet, have I? Since we already have a lot of purple here, I'm just going to add this in to cover up that purple flower and bring this together, all of that together. Oh, you're doing a few things and watching back and forth. Okay, I just want to make sure that, <laughs> that uh, I haven't put anybody to sleep. So let's go around this with the Micron pen, zero one.
again I'm just trace outlining tracing some people say outlining some say tracing going around the edge of some of the embellishments to um, get the black micron pen Oh, making something with a feather stamp. Yeah, you know, sometimes we just get stuck. You know, our brain just some cut. Here I'm just using again my Secorp, I mean my Winkastella clear pen. And I'm just adding some shimmer to my embellishments. Sometimes we our brain just gets stuck, you know, and we need a little inspiration. To get us jump started and then we go off on a tangent, you know. <laughs> Those kind of things always happen. Again, I'm just here I'm just coloring in the circles with the Wink of Stella. I'll hold it up here in a second and let you see how it really adds a lot to the embellishment. Okay, so here you can see the shimmer on the packages there. Isn't it pretty how it just shimmers? And here you can see it. Oops, there. If I can get it to there, see how pretty that is? You see it? It's just so pretty, it just adds just that little bit of. something you need so on this one this was taking this picture was taken two years ago at a restaurant for um, our birthdays I just love it so let me trim this down so I'm just going to take an eighth of an inch off to uh, to start with. Oh yes, perfect. It does show up, doesn't it? It's, and it's not. It dries very, very fast, very fast, right, Sandra? Sandra has used the Wink of Stella. She can tell you, it dries really fast. Um, you know, I love stickles, but in a project like this, we would have to put it away and do the stickles later. Whereas with the Wink of Stella, bada bing, bada boom. Okay, and here we're going to put Wish. So Wednesday night, Sandra comes on at 8 Eastern Time and 5 Pacific Time, and I believe this is correct, Sandra. Tell me if I'm wrong. She's going to start the Butterfly Book. Is that correct, Sandra? Oops, I'm going to have to take a little bit of the H off there. Yes, okay. Sandra's going to start the Butterfly Book on this Wednesday. Her channel is Scraps to Beauty. 
and she comes on at 8 Eastern and 5 Pacific. Ah, come on. <laughs> We're stuck in there. And then I'm going to use a candle as an exclamation mark. So what do I have left? I have blue. I'll use blue because purple won't show up. Red screen. Miko has a red screen. I don't know how to help you with that. And this looks like an upside down. Maybe I should do it the right way, huh? I don't want to confuse people any more than they're already confused. <laughs> you got a red screen. What does that mean, Miko? Oh, you're going to refresh? Okay. It's like, oh my gosh, green screen. I mean, red screen. I've never known anybody to get a red screen. Black screen. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I should cut a little bit more of that off, but I don't think I'm going to. Saves us get our micron pen. Again, I'm using the 01, and we're going to go around these letters. Later this week, I'll put a picture of both books up on my blog. It won't be tomorrow. Um, but I will have them up on the blog later this week. And my blog is Create with Ella. And I'll get, I'll get you the link to that. We hope you get back in, Miko. Okay, there's the my blog. For those watching the recording, it's createwithella.wordpress.com. Createwithella.wordpress.com. And later this week, I will put both books up um, and show you what they both look like completely open. So again, I'm just going around these elements. And Ashley, as most of you know, she won't be. Oh, yay, you're back. Oh, no, she hasn't. She's left. Ashley is sick, so she's not going to be streaming this week. Now, we didn't have enough room up there to put our flame for our candle, so we're going to put a... gemstone up there. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're just going to scatter some around. And if you put them off of the edge of things, it gives the page a little more fluidity, you know, instead of sticking them right on in the letter. If you put them half on the letter and half off, it just helps the eye to move a lot easier. I think. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, one thing I try to do when I'm putting things on the page for decoration is to always make sure that the eye has a place to rest and that the eye has a place for movement. And by that I mean um, There's a term when I started scrapbooking many years ago, <laughs> many, many years ago. No, I'm just teasing. In 2000, and 2000 when I started, 2001, when I started scrapbooking, there was this real popular phrase uh, in the group circle I was in, and it was called sticker sneeze, sticker sneeze. And by that, they meant... There were so many stickers on the page, it looked like someone had just sneezed and they fell wherever they fell. There was no move, there was no place for the eye to move. It was just, you know, um, the eye, I'm sorry, there was no place for the eye to rest. There was just so much on the page that your eye just saw a big bunch of glob instead of seeing, um, focusing on something like the picture or a, a little um, vignette over here in the corner. It looked like someone had just threw a bunch of stuff down. And so I was taught not to do that. And um, I'm always aware of that when I'm putting things down on the page. You know, I want the eye to move, like, you know, move, like so. But I also don't want it to look like I just threw a bunch of things down on the page. So now I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and I'm going to color the tips of these candles, just very lightly hit upon them. And then I'm just going to go down and color, you know, like every other one. That way it'll stand out more than if I colored, use the Wink of Stella on every candle. And so here, let's see what goes back here. No, we don't have any more pictures. So right here, I've saved this little tag because right here, I want to put this tag and later I will journal here about my book and what this book means to me. Okay, I'll see you, Zandra. Have a nice evening. Stay warm. Okay. Then I'm going to take some of the clear gems and I'm going to put in here.
like so. And then I'm going to take one of the big purple ones and put there. Okay. Like I said earlier, I don't have all my birthday pictures printed, but one thing I'll probably do is put another picture here. And that'll sh that'll be shown in the when I put it on my uh, blog later this week. It'll be complete, but I don't have all my pictures, and I'll probably put something right there. So let's see. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you so far. So see, when you open the book, when the book is standing up, you'll see. This is what you see. You don't see the back part when the book is standing up that much, but you do see the front. So it says "Make a Wish," right? And it's about your birthday. So I don't know if I can, let me see if I can get it to do a little bit so you can see. See how the bottom shows there when it's standing up? Make a wish. That's what you'll see. Now, now let's go back and do this page. And remember, we're going to use this picture. Lay that there. And I think, oh, uh, no, never mind. I don't I like those but I don't like them there so let's do a little cake here and I don't want to press the top down yet because I still have a couple of candles left And of course they're purple because I put the other ones and see they they kind of don't blend they kind of uh, blend in that purple does ah. gosh I hate to put just one candle on the birthday cake Well, maybe they won't blend in too badly if I put them together like so. Let me go around them. So that does help a lot. Okay. Ah, made a mistake there, guys. My hand slipped. I think I'm going to go around this down here too.
made a little boo boo there. So, mm. so because I made that boo boo, I'm gonna come in a little, a little all the way around. just right there and then I'm gonna take my Winka okay Miko thanks for joining we'll see you later and I'm going to color in the happy And I'm going to put a little dot right there. And a little dot right there. And then I'm going to cover up another boo-boo I made with a little dot right there. <laughs> okay. Okay, friend. Good night. We'll see you later. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to outline the flame also. And then on the flame, I'm going to put the Wink of Stella. And then we'll put the Wink of Stella on the frosting of the cake down here to make this all pretty. And then I think I'll put some in the middle and some around this purple. Now I want to go over this again. And we have a lot going on on this page, so I'm not going to put any words or anything, any other words rather. I'm going to um, put these little bursts. And I'm going to outline those with the Micron pen. I'm using black and it's 01 which is 0 0.25 so I don't want a heavy shadow or a heavy line just want a little bit just to show that you know to give it some definition there hi dainty diva you're the only one left. Are you doing something in the background and listening to me babble?
Hi, Dainty Diva. Are you working on a project today? Your stick it book, okay? I'm not familiar with that. Tell me what that is. I know what Project Life is, but I don't know what a stick it book is. But I'm glad you're working on a project. <laughs> okay, so I think that's enough for that page. Now I want to work on the cover, the one with Joanna. Okay. Gotcha. What I want to do is I want to see if I can um, I love these balloons right here. So I wanted to see if I could somehow get these balloons on the book. like so. I would pop these up. Hmm. What I could do is I could just I like this. Yeah, Scrappy Camp Sisters. Yeah. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these, these two up on foam tape and put them on the front. And I think I'm going to do it like so. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these two together so I can handle it as one piece. Man, they're sticky too. And I'm going to put it on the book like so, okay? I'm going to put foam tape all around, all on the back. And I'm going to use the, um, this little ink just to give some definition to the, to the edges. I'm just going to barely daub it just like so. I don't want a whole lot. So see, I'm just going to take the dauber and just go around like this. <sighs> okay. Ah! All right. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to take my foam tape and I want to see okay I won't put any at the top of the balloon up there
And I don't want to go all the way to the top of the balloon because that's going to hang off the book a little bit. And the way I'll get around from that sticking to everything is I'll put baby powder on the back. So what I do is I just take a little bit of baby powder and that takes the sticky away. You can use cornstarch. I just like the way the baby powder smells. <laughs> okay, so and I'm going to put it on the book like this. Okay? I love it and I have to have my bling so I'm gonna put a little bit right there oops and we'll put one there and I'm gonna put one here so now we have our so let's Okay. And see now it's not sticky there where we didn't um, put any foam tape, but we can put one piece right here. So we'll just cut, a sh cut this in half. there. Oh, I love it. Well, you know what? I just saw something. Oops. We need another one here. So we always work in odd numbers. So let's put one here. So one, two, three, four, five. And we have a triangle here, and we have a triangle. Um, let's see, we have a triangle here, and then a little skinny one here. So we have, you know, various triangles on the design. So let's take the Wink of Stella and cover these in. Let me bring you in a little closer. Thank you, Dainty Diva. Thank you. It's a fun book. And then I'm going to color in the U with the Wink of Stella because it is happy birthday to you. And then I'll color this in here. And when I get through, I'll hold it up and let you see the pretty sh shimmer. 
that the wink is still on. We'll color in our bow. And around our star. Okay. So here, you see the shimmer from the Wink of Stella on the U and the bow, and then on the little um, burst. And then I put a little bit in here and in the dots on the balloon. So pretty, huh? Doesn't take much, just a little at something extra. So um, let's see, we have some space. This is going to be my journaling spot. I'm not going to put a picture there. I do need to get a picture printed to go there. And I need to get a picture printed to go here. And then I need something here. So let's see what can we put here. This would work because it would tie in the green to there. And we need to put something here. But I don't like that. see if I like that there. I need something here. We don't have any more candles left and that would look odd without candles, right guys? Hmm. Well, I'll have to think on that, guys. It's weird without candles, huh? I don't know, guys. I have to think on that for a little bit. I do like the surprise there. I like this page a lot. I think that's really pretty. And I like this a lot. But I need something here too. I'm just having a... What are you saying? Oh yes to Dainty Diva. <laughs> um... If I cut a little bit of this box off, I don't mind it going up a little bit on the picture. It's not going to affect it 
yeah. Okay, so where's my micron pen? So that looks nice. I like that. I think I'll put those there and I'll just say they're little presents or <laughs> little cupcakes. <laughs> I'm just going to go around this with the Wink of Stella some. Okay. I think I'll just go over this. Just, you know, hit and miss with that. Okay, so that's that. That's good. So I need another picture to go here and some journaling. And I'm going to journal here and another picture here. And um, I need something to go here. Let me see if I can fussy cut this to go here. See how this will do. I'm going to try and leave a little bit of a border around here. This is the branding strip or design strip. And I'm just going to turn my paper back and forth, but keeping my scissors at you know, straight, just turning the paper back and forth to get a little bit of a curvature at the top to mimic the curvature of the white there. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit of foam tape and put back here. Okay. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Do it like this. Let's 
bring it over a little bit. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and then we'll We'll take our micron pen Okay, so that looks really good. I'm real happy with that. I'm happy with this. And I'm happy with this. And then um, I'm real happy with the cover. I love the cover. I think that's really pretty. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take these and... make a little banner to go there except I don't like that one so what I'll do is it's 258 I'll finish this and like I said I'll put this up on my blog later this week it won't be tomorrow um, but I will have it up later this week and um, I'll have it, you know, expand it out, and then I'll show you page by page. But I'm going to do something like this with um, one of these ribbons. I don't know which one yet. <laughs> and... Uh, that's what we'll do. So next week, don't forget, next week we're going to start, uh, we're going to do a two-page layout with the brushed um, collection. And uh, then after that, we're going to do some cards. So let me review real quick. Let's clean this up. And I'll just flip through the book. Here's the front. Okay. And then here's the first, here's the inside, oops, here's the inside, first page. And then here's the next page. And then the back, we have journaling spot where I'm going to tell what this book means to me. And I'll, I don't know if I'll put anything here or not. But I need, so I need to get printed one, two, two more pictures. I think I'd like to have two more pictures there or something. So anyway, that's today's show. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I had a good time. I hope to see you next Monday at 1 o'clock Pacific time, 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock Eastern time. Don't forget Sandra on Wednesday at... 8 o'clock Eastern and 5 o'clock Pacific. Her channel is Scraps to Beauty by Zandra. And I hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you, uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye now. Bye, bye, bye. See you guys later.